Well, hello everybody. So I just made a video to introduce simple interest and now the next thing that makes sense to talk about is future value versus present value. So future value and present value, two different things. Okay. Um, and I'll tell you what they are and how they're related in this video. So I, I want to start off with an example that's kind of like the ones that we would have seen in the simple interest video that I've already made. Um, so let's say we borrow or loan $500, the interest rate 4% and the time is for 15 months. So my question to consider to start this new topic is how much needs to be paid back. Okay. So here's our simple interest formula. Interest is principal times rate times time. Um, principal is 500 rates, 4% time is 15 months, but one catch with the simple interest formula is at least as we're going to encounter it and our assignment time needs to be in years. So 15 months is 15 divided by 12 years. And if you want to get that as a decimal, that's 1.25 years. Okay. One and a quarter years. So, all right, there's interest is principal times rate times time. That turns out to be $25 in this case, okay? So that's just the interest, okay? What you would pay back, I mean, if you did borrow this, if it was a loan, is the principal you borrowed plus the interest that was accumulated along the way, and that's $525. All right, so think about it like this. Um, there's an element of time here because of the interest rate and because of the time that went by, $500 today is worth $525 in the future. All right, because that's what separates past and future in this case, is that you borrowed 500 and then 15 months later, you paid back 525. So that's why we call these things present value and future value, all right? So whenever you hear present value or future value in any context in our module on financial math, then just think of it like this, basically. There's what the money's worth today versus it in the future, okay? And it's just because of time. Uh, interest is accumulated over time and it's because of the interest rate, okay? That depends on all those things. So anyway, so we got the basic idea between present value and future value. Um, one catch is that um, we, the formulas may appear different in some of the problems. Um, we might see interest is principal times rate times time, and I'll refer to P as the principal like I've done so far, but I just told you, you know, the principal is basically uh, the present value, right? In my diagram up here, $500, that's what was the principal. That's the amount of money we started with in my example. And so that's what we have today, right? Okay, so this formula may also be written like this. Interest is present value times rate times time. Or it may be referred to that that number is the present value. Okay, so they're the same thing, all right? And you might see these formulas either way, just so you know. Um, now, let's say that we want to calculate the future value from the present value or vice versa. I have this new formula that tells you how they're related. With this formula, if I know the present value and the rate and the time in years, I can calculate the future value or the other way around. If I have the future value and the rate and the time, I can calculate the present value. All right, so I'll tell you that and I'll give you this formula and I will say in case we encounter it in other places, PV means present value or principal. That's the amount of money that's borrowed or invested or loaned, whatever the case is. And FV will be the future value, which is the present value plus the interest that was accumulated as time went by. Okay. All right. So let's use this formula for something. I'll show you an example. Um, all right, here's an example where we can use that formula. So this one is, I've taken a screenshot from my math lab and it says, find the present value of the given future amount. So it's giving us the future value. And for whatever reason, it says assume 360 days in a year. So that's what it says, that's what we'll do. 
So what is the present value? I'm given the future value, 96,697, and I want to find the present value. Okay, so I see there that, you know, I have time, 282 days, interest rate, 9.7%. So I'm going to, again, I'll draw a diagram if you would consider yourself a, a visual learner, okay? So I have this value in the future that is whatever uh, I start with today becomes, okay, 96,697. 282 days separates them. That's how much time went by, right? For the present value to become the future value the rate was 9.7 percent so here's that formula i just gave you that relates future value and present value i put 96 697 for the future value i don't have the present value that's what i want to solve for that's what the question was about and then i have one plus r the interest rate times t now t was given in days time was given in days 282 days I convert that to years. It's gotta be years in our formula. So I do 282 divided by however many days there are in a year. And contrary to what you might think, it says let's assume there's 360 days in the year. So I took 282 divided by 360 years. And that's the number that needs to go in for time. And now as you see it, I've, I just have to solve for this number and it's multiplying by this number. So I will just divide by this entire thing without rounding it off in my calculator. I'm gonna take 96,697 and divide by this whole number. I'm gonna just leave it the way it is and I'll put it in my calculator when I'm ready to get the final answer. So that would give you 96,697 and I'll divide by that. Put it in my calculator. I get 89,868.49. Okay, in this question it said round to the nearest dollar. So let's see. See how it says 89,868. So 89,868.4, that next digit is a four. So that's going to put it to the nearest dollar at 89,868. Okay, so if I start with 89,868.49, so on today, it will become this future amount, this future value in 282 days at that interest rate. 